back-to-back years and making it to the college football playoff in 2019 and 2020 and an appearance in the national championship. Ryan Day would like to get back to that. Right now, Ohio State, the third favorite to win the Natty, entering Ryan Day's fourth season as head coach there. They'll try to do it behind Heisman favorite quarterback C.J. Stroud. And while they did lose receivers Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave, both went in the first round of the draft. The Buckeyes only had six players go in the draft. That's the fewest since 2015. Taking a look at their schedule, well, it's a big one to start. Notre Dame coming to town September 3rd. Of course, uh, all eyes will be on that Michigan game November 26th. They'll try to win after dropping the ball last season, losing for the first time since 2011. Our Dennis Dodd caught up with Ryan Day. Ryan, great to see you here at the Fiesta Summit. What do you guys take away from that fantastic Rose Bowl? Uh, first off, uh, you know, we had a few guys opt out, so it was an opportunity for us to have some of the younger guys play and you know, kind of get an idea of what team we're going to have next year. Um, and so that was good. Uh, but then, more importantly, um, the way that we responded at halftime, uh, played in the second half, and um, you know, kind of went into a back and forth game and, and won the game at the end. So that, that was great to see, and it gave us some momentum heading into the offseason. About that offseason, you got to get back to the top. You'd like to get back to the top. What do you take away from, I guess, just last season? It was your first Big Ten loss. Yeah. Well, I think when you look at our team, we were young. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, we took that loss early and then got better as time went on, made a few adjustments, um, you know, didn't play our best game at the end of the regular season. Uh, but, but there were a lot of good spots, and we got a lot of guys' experience. So we have a pretty experienced team coming back, um, which is good. As spring's been good. So, uh, you know, the, I think the biggest challenge at Ohio State is that you, you know you're, you have to win every game, and so bringing it every single week, um, you're not allowed to have a bad day, and that's that's kind of the things we've been talking about here in the off season. You came in a few years ago. How long did it take you to realize that was the standard? Not knowing at the time you'd one day be the head coach. Uh, I mean, I learned pretty quickly. Uh, <laughs> we lost our second game to Oklahoma that year, yeah. and uh, you learn real fast in, in Columbus how you know, the way that that works. But um, but you know, it, it's just it's a mantra every day of competitive stamina, bringing it every day. Um, and it's something that our guys, I think, have grabbed onto. You're on such a roll with quarterbacks. How has C.J. Stroud, I guess, matured maybe? Well, I, I think he really came a long way from early in the season. I think about that first Minnesota game. I mean, that was like, uh, I can't even believe that, in the Oregon game. I mean, he was uh, he had not played and played, and, and then he slowly grew, grew over time, and then I thought he played some of his better football down the stretch. And, and so now that's got to carry over. I thought spring has been good. Um, you know, he, he had a, uh, you know, he felt really comfortable throwing the ball to Chris and to Garrett. And so now, you know, he's finding some new weapons out there. So he knows Jackson and Marvin and, and Julian and the Mecca and those guys. But, um, but, you know, now we have an experienced quarterback coming back. And, um, you know, we had Justin in that second year. It was the COVID year. So that was kind of a shorter year. Um, but other than that, we really haven't had a guy come back for a second year. So that's exciting. It's been, it's been great to work with him in the off season. We talked about this off camera. The role of receivers now, how important they are. A couple of years ago, now with Jameson Williams, you had what four All Americans or potential All Americans in that room. You've got, you just mentioned Jackson and Marvin. How important has that position become? Well, it's it's very important. Yeah. I, I think uh, the balance is the most important thing. I think if you if you're just throwing the ball, um, you know, you get too soft and and um, you know it just becomes a spatial game and you become one dimensional. That's dangerous. If you can just run the ball, it's the same thing. They're going to put extra guys down in the box and and that's. That's hard to go win the big games. Uh, but when you can do both and you can create space, still run the ball and be physical, and then win the one-on-one -on -one battles on the outside, that's when you can be dynamic as an offense. That's great. Ryan, thanks so much and good luck this year. Okay, you got it. For more college football, and yes, we're already gearing up. We're excited about it. Uh, Cover 3 podcast. It's time for Bud Elliott's Summer School Series. Latest episodes, all thing Alabama and USC. Also, is college football on the cusp of Pay for play, download and follow. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.